This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series i5555 laptop computer with a cracked touchscreen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen touchscreen on the Inspiron i5555 laptop computer. Okay, before we start, several things we need to go over. Uh, first thing we need to do is remove the battery from this laptop. This particular model has a removable battery and it's good practice to remove it before replacing the screen. To do this, we slide the lever on the left towards the middle and lift up the battery and remove it. Okay, second thing. Uh, this model says, on the palm rest, it says Inspiron 15 5000 series. It doesn't say i5555 anywhere. The problem is the 5000 series has several different types of screens, some touch, some non-touch. The procedure is similar for all of them, but the screen is different. So we need to identify exactly which Inspiron 5000 series laptop we're working with. To do this, there's um, one. There's a way to identify if you don't have the original box or if there, you don't have any other labels. What you want to do is look up this service tag FK2RL72, and you can either go on the Dell.com Dell.com website and click support and find and locate the model number from the service tag or you can go on our website at www.screensurgeons.com and fill out a short form on the front page and we'll come back with your laptop model number and the screen you need. Okay, once you're done this and you know that you're working with the i5555, we can start the replacement process. So I'm going to show you the tools that we're gonna use. Uh, we have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size of the screwdriver. We have a hobby knife, or also known as the X-Acto knife with a pointed end, and that's to lift up adhesive tape. We have a metal spudger, and that's to pry things open and open things up. And we have a pair of metal tweezers to retrieve any lost screws or manipulate cables. Okay, now once we have the tools, the next step is to snap this screen bezel off, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. We need to snap it off. It doesn't have any screws securing it to the screen assembly, so all you need to do is snap it off. Uh, this part can be a little bit tricky because there's adhesive that secures the screen bezel to the screen itself. And uh, if you get stuck, what you may want to do is get a um, hair dryer, a blow dryer, and just heat up the bezel a little bit to loosen up the adhesive and then do it. We're not going to do it in this case, but that's what you want to do. may want to do. So to snap the screen bezel off, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side on the bezel and gently start lifting up and out. You will hear snapping sounds and you also hear the adhesive lifting out. If this gets too hard, like I said, you can loosen it up with, with a hair dryer. So, and in this matter, we go around the screen assembly. Uh, take your time on this. This is the most consuming, time consuming part of the process. And so we keep going around and we get to the bottom. And same thing on the bottom. Keep going. And the only thing that's holding the bezel on now is the hinge covers they're snapped on on the bottom there's some there's a seam here you can see this one's partially opened up already so we're going to use our um, 
metal spudger to loosen it up or open it up some more. And same thing on the other side. So we use our metal spudger and open up the seam. So this one is not as open, so this will be more useful on this side. So we were able to open it up a little bit. Okay, next, put the laptop back out over and gently work off the screen bezel from the rest of the screen assembly and put it on the side. All right, once we remove the screen bezel, we need to separate the LCD, the screen itself, from the back of the screen assembly. And this bezel has four mounting tabs, two on the top and two on the bottom. And we use our PH0 screwdriver to remove the four screws that are holding the mounting tabs to the back of the screen assembly. And when doing this, make sure that the laptop is tilted back a little bit. So one, two, three, there's some adhesive tape covering this up. Remove the adhesive tape a little bit and keep going. Make sure you don't unscrew these big screws. Those are for the hinge mounts. Those are not for the screen itself. And finally, the last screw. Okay, once we do that, we gently Lift the screen up and lay it down on top of the keyboard. We see that the we see that the video cable has some clips that are capturing it, so we want to use our tweezers to maybe work the video cable out. So we have yeah, so we have a little bit more space to work with. Okay. Once we do this, we, uh, we see that we have to disconnect the connector on the bottom. There's some adhesive tape covering the connector up, so we use our hobby knife to loosen up, to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape, and with our fingertips, gently lift up the adhesive tape being careful not to damage the connector and pull the adhesive tape back out of it. Next there's a bar securing the connector, holding the connector together. So it's a metal bar and what we want to do is lift up this metal bar and pull it back also. Once we do those two things we can remove the connector. So what you want to do is slide the connector backwards until it's removed. Okay, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector. When we reconnect the connector, slide the connector back in until it's you feel but not hear two clicks. Okay, so I'm going to get a close-up. Pause the video right here. The two sides of the connector should be flush next to each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connector. This is what a properly connected connector looks like. So once again, we're going to slide it out and we have the screen freed. So this is a 15.6 inch slim LCD screen with touch, with a touch built into the screen assembly itself and it has a glossy finish. So there are several other screens that look very similar to this one that don't have the touch built in. So make sure you have the one with the touch built in. And the part number for this particular model is LTN156AT40-D01. Once you get your new part in, it might not have the exact same part number, but it should have the same form factor and the touch should still be working. You can, or, you can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. If it's not the right screen or if the touch is not working, we'll make sure we get you the right screen. We have free email technical support, the same exact toolkit that I used in the video. It comes for free with every screen that we ship and we have free priority mail shipping 
within the United States. And if you live outside of the United States, uh, just follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country. We can ship to most countries around the world. Okay, once you do get your new screen in, uh, make sure it's the same form factor, it looks the same, and then connect the connector as I showed you, put the bar down, the adhesive tape, mount the screen into the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap on the screen bezel, and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panarudkovich, I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.